Hey guys, what's going on? So, this is an episode of Poning Glute. Um, it's easy, and I actually waited a couple days to do this video. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't gonna do the video because you know I, I know what to expect from Glute. You know, he'll just dismiss it as I'm a fail troll, and he'll say, "Oh, well, you're just trying to get subs," or he'll say, "Oh, I have no life," and and I, you know, it's my life is so pathetic that, you know, I have to do videos about him. You know, the typical ad hominem attacks that that he tends to barf up, you know, on everyone's comment section. But this is going to prove my point. And he actually says in this video that, you know, one of the biggest complaints that Christians have when it comes to um, the atheists is that they don't um, understand the Bible and often they misrepresent what the Bible actually says or means to make their point. And I'm going to prove this in this video. So basically, Glutes did a video um, a few days ago where he was asking Christians to test their faith. You know, if they were really faithful, that they would run out into traffic and God would save them if they were truly faithful. And a couple of Christians came to his uh, comment section and pointed out that Jesus said, you know, you don't test God. And he's making the claim that um, that's not the reference that Jesus was making. He was saying basically that Jesus was responding to this don't test God in lieu of Satan tempting him. But he's wrong. So let's just listen to what he says. First of all, it's a um, it, 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 it doesn't have anything to do with what I uh, with my challenge because uh, in this instance where Jesus said thou shalt not tempt the Lord or thou shalt not test the Lord he was basically in a situation where the devil tried to bribe him into submitting to him so there Glute says that Jesus response was a response to being bribed not a response to satan asking him you know to test god right that's different than calling god on a so-called promise that if you have faith nothing will happen it is different but the problem is is that you're wrong because in matthew 4 we'll start with um verse 5 then the devil took him up to uh, up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him if thou be the son of god cast thyself down for it is written he shall give his angels charge concerning thee and in their hands they shall bear thee up lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone so here it's clear that satan was telling christ hey you know Test God. Cast yourself off of here. You know? And God will save you. And Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So this is why Christians get extremely irritated with atheists like yourself who truly don't have any understanding of the Bible. You misrepresent what it says. And you want people to take you seriously? Let's see what else you have to say. You're basically putting God on the spot based on the promise he made. It's different. But let's just... It's not different. What you were cited by those other Christians is exactly relevant to your challenge. And you didn't bother to even look it up. You just assumed that you knew. But you don't. Go along with this... Uh... Uh, well, in these cases, uh, when you say this, Christians will say, well, you just don't have any biblical understanding. There's a reason why we say that. And I just showed why we say that. Because you can't even read, apparently. You don't even bother to take the time to read what you're commenting on, what you're asking Christians to do. So... Thanks for watching, guys. I want to leave this one, you know, short. There's other stuff that I'd like to address, but frankly, 
I don't have time for this boob. I just wanted to point out that this is exactly why Christians say stuff like, you don't have any biblical knowledge. It's because you don't. And maybe next time you should take the time to Google what you're talking about so you don't look like a complete asshat. Thanks for watching. Please rate this video. If you think that I pwned glute, please up thumb. Whether you like me or not, be honest. And if you think that I didn't pwn glute, down thumb and explain to me why I didn't pwn him or how he was right. Cheers.